In 2008, a fascinating documentary was aired on China's central television, and its protagonist was not a person but a big, yeah, a fat pig. For CCTV to make a film specifically about a pig, it must have had a remarkable story. Well, the pig caught CCTV's attention not only because it was fat but also because it had a special status it had converted to Buddhism. What? A pig that is a religious believer? In China, few people keep pigs as pets, and everyone who keeps pigs has only one purpose, to either sell them for money or to eat them. However, this pig managed to avoid being slaughtered three times and lived to a ripe old age. A pig's lifespan is around 20 years if not killed, and it can only reach a weight of just over 500 kilograms at its heaviest. But the pig that CCTV made a film about was far more impressive. It grew to 1,100 kilograms and became a true pig king. So, why was this pig able to escape the fate of being slaughtered? How did it convert to Buddhism? Why did Chinese people call it the Pig King? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Okay, let's get started. In 2003, an elderly man surnamed Gao from Taishan, Zhujiang, bought a small pig from a pig dealer. At the time of purchase, the pig weighed around 45 kilograms, which was a normal weight. After bringing the pig home, Mr. Gao raised it normally without any special treatment, but the pig seemed to grow faster than the pigs raised by other families. The Gao family was very happy, as if they were watching a pile of RMB constantly increasing. When the pig grew to 250 kilograms, it took up more space and ate more food, and Mr. Gao could no longer afford to keep it. The Gao family decided to kill it and sell it for money, and they had already made an appointment with the slaughterhouse workers, which Mr. Gao also agreed to. However, the next day when the workers came to prepare to slaughter the pig, Mr. Gao suddenly regretted it when he saw the sharp pig-killing knife. He had raised the pig for so long, from 45 kilograms to 250 kilograms, and felt that the pig was like his own child. After hesitating for a while, he grabbed the knife and firmly declared that he would not let the pig be killed. The family didn't say anything, thinking that Mr. Gao just treated the pig as a pet. So they agreed to let him raise the pig for a while longer. This time, the pig was raised to 400 kilograms. Seeing such a big fat pig, the family decided that they had to kill it this time. When nearby villagers learned that the Gao family's big pig was finally for sale, they eagerly came to reserve the parts they wanted. But when the slaughterhouse workers raised their knives, Mr. Gao regretted again and refused to let anyone touch his beloved pig. The Gao family could only awkwardly refund all the deposits to the villagers and remind Mr. Gao that there would be no next time. The pig was saved, and Mr. Gao regained his happiness. He continued to diligently feed the pig every day, taking care of it. After rescuing the pig for the second time, time flew by, and it was already 2007. The weight of the pig had skyrocketed to 1,000 kilograms, a rare sight among domesticated animals. In the wild, animals that grow to such a size are usually those with strong attacking abilities, such as the white shark, the robust African elephant, or the world's largest mammal, the blue whale. Imagine a ton of weight in the form of an object inside a home, it is terrifying, let alone when the animal becomes too fat, and its appearance becomes ugly, making it look frightening. However, the pig king grew so large that it faced danger for the third time. That year, the Gao family had spent a considerable amount of money feeding the pig throughout the years, and they had taken on debt. Thus, they planned to sell the pig to get some money. Coincidentally, a household not far from the Gao family planned to hold a banquet and wanted to buy a big pig for the occasion. The pig king was famous, so this household came to buy it, hoping to add some festivity to their feast. After considering their debt, Mr. Gao finally agreed, with tears in his eyes. But it seems that the pig king had divine protection, and the killing was avoided for the third time. An elderly man in town, superstitious and hearing that the pig king was going to be killed, felt that it was not right. He went to the Gao family and said that a pig that grows so big is not an ordinary pig, and it had escaped the butcher's knife twice, so it would be best to keep it to avoid offending the gods. This statement made sense to many people in the village who advised the Gao family to let the pig go. However, the Gao family could no longer afford to feed the pig with such a big appetite, not to mention their debt. After some discussion, the villagers decided to chip in and raise 10,000 yuan to buy the pig and send it to the temple to be cared for. Thus, the pig king's life was saved. 
It was sent to a local temple to live, a real-life scenario of the pig Beji joining Buddhism. When the news spread, people were excited. Who had ever heard of a temple raising a pig, let alone a legendary big fat pig like the Pig King? Soon, CCTV learned about the Pig King's story and found it very interesting, so they quickly came to the area and made a documentary about the Pig King. After it aired in December 2008, the program became very popular and dominated the ratings chart for a long time, called The Legend of Pig King. After many viewers watched the show, they came to visit the legendary Big Fat Pig weighing over a ton at Lotus Peak Temple. The temple conveyed the true compassion of Buddha to the public, and the incense quickly became popular. Even the town became a new tourist destination. In 2009, in Shaoxing, a painter named Chuj, who had watched the documentary of the Pig King suddenly had an idea. With such a big pig, the pigskin must be huge. If he could paint on it, it would definitely become famous all over the world. So he went to Lotus Peak Temple and offered 50,000 yuan to buy the Pig King, planning to recreate the famous painting The 87 Immortals. This painting is a long scroll of white drawing on silk created by the Tang Dynasty painter Wu Daozi. Originally collected in the Su Beihan Memorial Hall in Beijing, the painting vividly shows the spectacular scene of 87 immortals on a journey through pure lines, representing the highest level of Tang Dynasty white drawing technique. Judge, born in 1984, was 25 years old at the time. However, his request was rejected by the temple, and the surrounding residents also believed that the pig king was a highly spiritual animal that should not be killed. Therefore, it was allowed to live in the temple as a treasure of the town. The residents were right. This pig king was indeed very intelligent. When tourists talked to it nicely, it would behave very happily, but if someone said bad things about it, it would become stubborn and ignore people. Many people from all over the country went to see this interesting animal, and even donated money to improve its diet. Some companies participating in agricultural expos also wanted to borrow the pig king for their exhibitions. However, no matter how well it was raised, a pig cannot live too long. Moreover, the pig king was too fat and unhealthy, and as it grew older, the burden on its organs became heavier. After living comfortably in the temple for more than three years, the nine-year-old pig king passed away. Before its death, the pig had grown to 1,110 kilograms and was 2.45 meters long. Out of their love for the pig king, the temple and local residents did not dispose of its body casually. Instead, they held a very formal funeral for it, and later built a statue in its honor for people to remember. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.